Hello, dears, and welcome to Al Husseini Virtual Lab Pathology Talks, Tips and Practical Tips. What I'm going to be sharing with you today is a nice and interesting case, not really very common, of high grade appendiceal mucinous neoplasm, or what is known as HAMAN. So, this is a case of a 32 year old female patient who presented with lower abdominal pain and was found to have an appendiceal enlargement suspicious for a mass. And this is uh, the low power magnification of the uh, resected appendix. And as you can see, there is marked a proliferation with villiform surface transformation of the mucosal epithelium of the appendix in the absence, and this is extremely important, the lymphoid follicles that we see usually in the appendix, as well as some tendency at fibrosis and on high power magnification. It's very clear, the high grade in nuclear features, the stratification, the villiform transformation of the surface, and even more here, it's much more crisper, much more clearer, where we have the villous transformation to the surface uh, um, epithelium, which is lined by highly atypical, highly malignant cells uh, that is very much reminiscent of high-grade dysplasia in a villous adenoma of the colon. Now, what is really important in addition to the atypical epithelium is the sclerosis or fibrosis that we see in the sub-epithelial connective tissue, as well as I alluded to the absence of the typical lymphoid follicles that we see in the appendix. Excellent clue to the diagnosis that would really support the diagnosis. Additional important clue is the presence of this linear calcification that can be even detected by radiology and should really suggest the diagnosis at least radiologically. And again, another focus of this linear classification. So remember, there is the villous transformation of the surface that is lined by atypical cells. In the case of high-grade appendiceal mucinous neoplasm, this is high-grade nuclear features, the sub-epithelial fibrosis slash sclerosis, the absence of the lymphoid follicles, as well as um, uh, the presence of this calcification, extremely important to support the diagnosis. And now P53 is strongly positive that would further support that this is high grade rather than low grade dysplastic transformation, extremely important to support the diagnosis. Now at this stage and in the absence of invasive component, this tumor is staged as PTIS, meaning carcinoma uh, in situ in this particular uh, case. So to put it uh, together, uh, this final diagnosis is in this case is high-grade appendiceal mucinous uh, neoplasm, what is known as HAMEN. Remember that you have to look for the surface villiform transformation, the nuclear features which can further be supported by staining for p53 as well as the sub-epithelial sclerosis the absence of lymphoid follicles and the presence of the cal linear calcification remember that you have to evaluate whether there is an invasive destructive invasive component adenocarcinoma in order to call it uh, the usual type adenocarcinoma if this is absent even in the presence of extra appendiceal mucin deposits, for example, in the peritoneum, still I would stage this tumor as PTIS. And then depending on the presence or absence of extra appendiceal mucin in the peritoneum, in other organs, and whether this is cellular or not, then the stage would be elevated into an M1 a or B, depending on the presence, on the absence or presence of uh, tumor cells. But regardless of how ugly this tumor and regardless of its association with extra appendiceal mucin, the stage for this tumor is PTIS carcinoma in situ. I hope you find this tip useful in your daily practice. Thank you.